I was so excited when I found out that Sakura makes a huge kit containing 59 different Pigma pens. I've been using black Pigma Micron pens almost exclusively since I began hand lettering, but this kit contains so much more. Not only does it have the black Micron pens I've come to love in every nib size available, but it also has every color of Micron they currently manufacture. It even has a handy chart to help you keep track of your new stash. The numbers on the side of the pen correspond with the nib size, so you can achieve precisely the effect you want. Every pen in this kit contains Sakura's unrivaled Pigma ink, which is archival quality and resists smearing and bleeding. This kit also contains the thicker Graphic 1 pens, which have bullet style nibs, as well as Graphic 2 and 3 pens which feature a chisel nib. Plus, it has nine brush pens. So when this kit came in the mail, I decided to practice and improve on my skills with a 30 days of hand lettering challenge. I wanted to push myself to bring in color, play with different pens, and experiment with new techniques. This video is a compilation of what I created. Try adding shadows in front of your word to give the illusion of height. Stippling adds texture to a piece. Stipple heavily in shadowed areas and sparingly in areas the light would shine. Pigma ink pairs wonderfully with watercolor paint. It won't run. Use brush pens for quick lettering projects. Try weighting only one side of your letters for an eclectic vibe. Most of my hand lettered pieces start as sketches drawn with a sumo grip pencil. Create full calligraphy by thickening the downstrokes on your letters. Make a distressed finish by leaving white streaks on your design. Utilize tails or ligatures as flourishes to enhance your design. Add a frame to make your piece pop. Play around with patterns. Draw invisible letters by inking only the shadowed areas. Enhance brush lettering by drawing inline with the second color. Utilize guidelines to evenly space your letters. Pair contrasting letter styles for visual interest. Try coloring in the letters with stripes, then erasing the outline. Banners can be interesting elements that draw the eye. Play around with various caps and serifs on your letters. Try slab serifs, ball serifs, or splayed serifs. Pair inked letters with pencil shadows for extra dimension. Draw a frame and fit your letters inside, then erase the frame. Combine your lettering with an illustration for extra impact. Change your angle for drawing letters to make them appear to be lying down. Alternately, you can curve your letters and add shading to give them the illusion of lifting off the paper. Add pencil scribbles for a chaotic mood. Try drawing extra thin letters with multiple layers. Add a different color to each layer. Take a cue from graffiti art and draw 3D letters. Take a break from guidelines and purposefully create letters of different sizes. Vary the direction of the shadows on each letter for a crazy, funky piece. 
Use a transparent ruler to draw faceted type. Fill in the facets with contrasting colors. Try combining a free spirited script with a tidy serif text. Push yourself by drawing letters that look like folded paper. Add stippled shadows, then shade with pencil. Try drawing text that is cube based. I use three different shades of blue to color the facets on this piece. Have fun creating letters comprised of shapes and patterns. Draw elegant letters with curls, spurs, and inline shapes. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I created with my 59-piece Pigma kit. You can learn more about these pens at my sponsor's website, sakuraofamerica.com. To see my complete hand lettering gallery, visit my website at madebymarzipan.com. Try this at home.